race this early? Not really. I mean, if you look at a real pro calendar, they've started racing in January, February already. And two years ago, we were racing in January or February or something like that. Yeah. And you get three months into the winter, which we are now, November, December, January, and you, you kind of border training, really. Especially where I live, where most of the time you're alone and yeah. it's wet. <laughs> it's, it's no warmer either in Cornwall, despite what anyone really says. Um, certainly this winter. Yeah. So then you just want to meet up with your team and ride with your teammates and do a race. And it doesn't matter what the race is. Like last week they did Hillingdon and yeah. obviously they had a lot of fun. Yeah. And that's kind of what cycling's about. It's not about spending hours on your own on your bike. It's all about racing with your teammates. What memories have you got of this? Because uh, I guess it's it's always been a short race, hasn't it? Even when you won it. Yes, I mean, very short. Short, um, short but sweet, I think. <laughs> Obviously, at this time of year, you don't really slog it around. When, uh, you know, luckily today the weather's great, but it could be bad. Um, for 60 or 70 miles that would be pretty harsh but memories obviously first race of the season I did win this race back in 79 um, yeah I mean it's good it's a good head out for the, for the Southerners you know it's not it's not often that people down south get to do the main race of the weekend really well, with your coaching head on is, it, is there any harm in doing a race like this this early no I don't know for sure not for sure not obviously no it's not going it's not going to knock you for six yeah it's not going to make a major dent in your preparation. So, as I say, it's more of a question of, you know, it's out for the guys who live down here. Um, um, and, and have a fun day out. Obviously, if the weather's stinking, it's a different kettle of fish, you know, possibly just getting a cold. But, yeah, I mean, with the kit they've got these days, they all go out on the weekend and do it anyway. So, I think, yeah, it's a good whether hit out. Whether you're training or whether whatever you're doing on the bike, you've got, you've got a chance even kids these days can bring things yeah of course a cold yes so yes i mean so that's basically not really in the equation in reality but yeah there's definitely no harm in having a hit out obviously a lot of guys hold fire for a while but you know in this day and age people people are racing all over the place aren't they yeah, yeah. have been since the start of january so um i think yeah it's good big, it's all good for telling me in his interview it's a bit hard to predict because you don't know what all these guys have been doing during the winter that's it i think also in the the way the sport's changed in the last 10 years, half the field here are almost full-time athletes who have been training on yeah. camps aboard. So, yeah, actually, so they might be carrying fatigue. That's not always a really good thing. So, yeah, yeah be interesting. Finally, warm up for this race. Got to warm up well. Is anyone, <laughs> I'm looking around me, not everyone's doing the same warm up. No. What's yours? Mine would be nice, easy 10 minutes, just spinning my legs. Then uh, five minutes zone two, five minutes zone three, four, and then yeah. some 30 second full on efforts just to really prime the, yeah. prime the systems, get the lactate response systems going. Yeah. So you need that on that first climb.
The organiser was telling me it's been a long time since he's seen a big bunch of kick in, a, in the purse. Just tell us how the race actually panned out. Um, Canyon. Canyon's uh, hit it hard, first time at the climb. But I think the way the weather was, with the there was a cross tailwind all along the cliff section and that kind of kept it together more than it would yeah. in uh, normal years. And I think they struggled to split it as much as they did normally. But eventually, um, Alex Patton got clear, I think with two or three others. Yeah. And then it was quite kind of just um, hard on the cliff, hard on the climb, but in the, in the headwinds, no one really wanted to ride. So I think that's probably why it stayed more or less what was it about 25 30 riders yeah in the oh finish yeah. so it was kind of selective but without being the usual absolute <laughs> smash race um well chris ap was sort of dragging everyone into the finish i think because he was trying to make something of it but yeah we had i had a couple of guys helping me stay at the front and they both worked pretty hard and dropped off and it was the last man to go and i just had enough left to get me over the line in third so yeah was it was it quite uh, was there any Argy bargy, or was it because it, it was all I could see was just heaving riders all, all across the road? Yeah, I think it's sort of the strongest were left at the front, really. So there wasn't much, there wasn't too many strong guys to, to tussle with, really. It was it's good to be at the front, um, good experience. So, yeah, good place to be at this time of year. How did you expect to go when you come into the first race of the year? No, I guess no one knows what their form's like, do they? Yeah, I had no idea today. Uh, and having looked at how it went last year, I wasn't feeling super confident. Um, but yeah, the opportunity came. I was lucky enough to have some really experienced teammates that gave me the nudge of when to go. Uh, and it stuck, so yeah, pretty happy with that. And there were two of you in the break for the same thing. Yeah. Making Alex quite nervous, he tells me. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> to the interview. Yeah. No, I don't think he had much to be nervous about today. But yeah, it was good to, good to ride with someone of that kind of pedigree. Um, yeah, it's definitely a step up. Break actually established because one lap I saw it was a free for all atop on the first lap yeah. there. Next thing you know, you know, you four guys came round. Um, I think second time over the climb, we tried first time over the climb and all the way through the tailwind to really have a hammer down, try and split it up. We ended up with just a big group gone away and it was way too big and it, it just really didn't happen how we'd planned. So the second time over, it was actually Jack Puller and I had the hammer down, a small, maybe eight guys just sort of clipped off the front, tiny little bit, and everyone sat up and I just thought, right, well, let's just go again. I just went straight over the top. One guy came with me and eventually we ended up as a three. So, and we just worked from there really, so. And how, how everyone working well? Yeah. we. Everyone rode well. I was obviously conscious of the fact that it was likely that the race might come back together because with the guys behind and, you know, we we always didn't want to have limited numbers at the front. And obviously me with two spirit guys, it was, yeah. you know, the numbers aren't great. And even if you have a problem, you know, I could have had a bad day, could have had a problem. So in the back of my head, I was mindful that the race behind might come to us. And it nearly did towards the end once we started to slow up a little bit. So <laughs> Was there only two of you at the finish? What happened there? Yeah. Um, over the top of the climb the last time, I started to attack the two spirit riders because I was a little bit concerned that with the pair of them, they might start attacking me. <laughs> so I thought, right, instead of, uh, instead of working out how to not get dropped, I'll just attack the pair of them. Um, and I did that in the crosswind over the top just because I thought it's, it's the most exposed place and it's, you know, they're both going to be in the wind suffering as well. So we did that and uh, for most of the back of the circuit, rode us three individuals all about 50 metres apart. <laughs> And uh, it was a little bit silly at one point, but um, and to be honest, I, c I couldn't ride away from the, the, three, the other two of them. So it, it came back together, and uh, it was a case of right, how am I going to win from this? And we ended, ended up going two to the line. So yeah.